I'm Alan. And I'm Heather. And we're Let's Unbox. Today we have for you the Big Book of Madness by our friends at Yellow. So, this is an interesting twist. It, it is. is a cooperative deck building game. Duck building? Deck building. Deck building. Oh. Yes. Mocking me already. Goodness gracious. It's early in the morning or afternoon. Somewhere it's morning. Wherever you are. Okay, so <clears throat> let's start off here with the rule book. Right. I will say that this cover art is just fantastic. Basically, we're a young group of wizards and we have opened a big book that we should not have and now we must work together to fix all that we've wronged and <laughs> stave off the madness, I guess, basically. Yeah, so, uh, so we're all tired of just reading books and so we find out that there's this big book of madness. And so the four players, or up to four players, go out and they open this book and release all of its nastiness. And the and only to way to win, it. the only way to win is to beat and finish the last page of the book. Nice. And close it. So So this rule book is really well laid out. There's overviews, gameplays, um, each phase of the game. There's a lot of pictures, um, definitions, things bolded that you really need to pay attention to. So I think they've done a really good job with that. What do you got there? Uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of cardboard. There's a lot of cards, obviously, when you're looking at a, a deck builder. Um, that's kind of cute. Oh, this is really well done. This is like the first player marker, I would say. Uh, not sure. Well, obviously we uh, have not it played this. It is the invocation book, so uh, it, it happens whenever you have to do spells, I believe. Invocation. Invocation. And this is the round marker, so it's a cute little witch's hat. Okay, so I think those are going to be cheat sheets and, and uh, cheat sheets and player boards. It's interesting though, the uh, the board is not all that large, and I'm having trouble opening it. So, here you go. Oh, you know what? These are the monsters. Oh, okay. Those are the pages of the book. Yes, these are the pages of the book, and, and you were right, boards. and the player boards. Um, these are really, they're not, they're kind of a glossy finish, which is kind of eh, but um, they're not super thick or anything, so you will have to be a little bit careful with them. But uh, the art is just fantastic. It's it's really look at this visually pleasing. Bam! This, of course, we'll have steals first. of all of this at the end for you. This is your first player uh, or the first card on mm -hmm. the deck, so it looks like the outside of outside a book. of a book, front cover of a book, and then or tome, there. if you will. And then if you look at the last okay, page, the big words. I know, look at the last page is a back of, the book. back of the book. And it sits right on here, what would be considered the book stand. That's in, really in cute. The, yeah. So. so it looks like they've, they've paid attention to a lot of detail, which is really nice. Well, um, I mean. Like, Give me cards to open. You know this is not going to well that. Yellow, yellow does a lot. Um, Maxima Ramberg is the designer. Uh, believe that this is his first game. Um, he's a young French designer as I looked up on Board Game Geek. But uh, no, I, I, I like it. The artwork is really nice. Um, it's got that... So I'm interested in the concept of a cooperative deck builder. I'm not usually a deck builder person, personally, but... It's, it's got the Harry Potter-esque feel. Um, yeah. I mean... Um, What's the ages? The ages... So we didn't read the box. Two to Slacker. five players. Slacker. Two to five players. 12 and up, 60 to 90 minutes. So the 12 and up is probably because of the artwork, maybe. Maybe the concept of going against the deck, demons. The and, deck building. Yeah. Possibly. Well, deck building is not that, that hard. I mean, you see magic players, kids out there that are... Or 10 and 11. I mean, Pokemon players like Pokemon our kids. Players. Oh, Lord. Yeah, so. Not our kids, but our kids. Our individual <laughs> kids from from other spouses. Yes. Um, 
No, so it looks good. I mean, there's a lot of cards. There are a lot of. There are cards. a lot of cards. Each player has their own They're deck of small element cards. Well, that's the that's the element for each player. Yeah. So fire element, water, air, All right. earth. Can you put those out so they can get a better look? Of course, like I said, we'll have close ups uh, at have, the end. I have one more. Oh, you're still opening. Yeah. I have one more deck Being slow. It's all that. Holiday, Holiday break. Still, still trying to wear off. Right. See, these are the different element cards. Is there another element? Yeah. What is that supposed to be? I don't know. Interesting. There they are. And then. What are these? There we go. So here's the question: With a five-player game, is it uh, is it one against all? One against four? I don't know. Okay, these are your spell cards. I will say this, it's going to require multiple size sleeving, so right. if you're going to play it a lot, be prepared for that. Yeah, regular, the miniature, for, and then the, the, the 50 by 50 squares, and these are almost a tarot size. So, so. it's something to, to just be aware of. Well, like we said, we were going to get pictures of this for you, and uh, we're going to get it to the table, hopefully, if, if not us somebody will. And uh, we'll let's unbox and, and have a good day.